After the revolt of 1857, as control got consolidated with the British Crown, some of India's princely states felt the need to make a show of their fading glory. From 1874 to 1943, they went on a palace building spree. Grand European style residences with vast lawns were commissioned. Here are some of the most marvelous colonial era palaces in India. The Jai Vilas Palace in Gwalior was commissioned by Maharaja Jayaji Rao Sindhya and construction began in 1874. The palace is an eclectic mix of European architectural styles. The Kooch Bihar Palace, commissioned by Maharaja Dripendra Narayan, is also known as the Victoria Jubilee Palace since it was built in 1887, the year of Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee. Built in Italian Renaissance style, it is believed to have been inspired by the Buckingham Palace. Lakshmi Vilas Palace in Vadodara is one of the largest private residences in the world and is four times the size of Buckingham Palace. It was constructed in 1890 in the Indo-Saracenic style and was commissioned by Maharaja Sayaji Rao Gaikwad III. Jagajit Palace was the home of the royal family of Kapoorthala in Punjab. The construction was started in 1900 and was completed in 1908. Maharaja Jagajit Singh who commissioned the palace was a francophile which is why its design was influenced by the palaces of France The Ujjayanta Palace in Agartala was built from 1899 to 1901 and served as the residence of the royal family of Tripura till the integration of the state into the Union of India It was commissioned by Maharaja Radha Kishore Manikya Mysore Palace or the Amba Vilas Palace is one of the grandest royal palaces in India and is the official residence of the Wodeyars. Indo-Saracenic in style, the palace exhibits an eclectic mix of Rajput, Islamic, Hindu and Gothic influences. Unfortunately, the original wooden palace was burned to the ground during the Dasera festivities of 1896 and what we see today is a relatively newer palace. Rambag Palace in Jaipur was the residence of the Jaipur royal family till 1957 and is a luxury hotel today. Indian royalty with their flamboyant lifestyles may now be relics of the past, but they have left us with this glorious heritage in the form of these grand old palaces.